the ocean. A place where life as we know it began more than 3 billion years ago, and it's home to over 100 million different species of the animal kingdom, and a water mass that covers 71% of the Earth's surface. We know more about space than we do about our Earth's oceans. Largely unexplored, the ocean produces half of the oxygen on Earth. It's no surprise that we humans have always been fascinated by the world beneath the waves. And here off the coast of South Africa's Eastern Cape, the turbulent waters play host to a group of determined divers who descend each year between May and July to witness a natural phenomenon known simply as the Sardine Run. Welcome to the Wild Coast. Hey, my name is Steve Benjamin from Animal Ocean and um, I operate an adventure dive business here in South Africa. And every year during June and July, we head to the Wild Coast to Port St. John's to intersect the annual moving shoals of sardines. As a diver coming on a sardine run, you really got to be prepared to battle the, the elements. It's not called the wild coast for nothing. What happens is, pulchards or sardines as they're also known, leave their gullus banks and swim up the coastline past the wild coast and into Durban. And now they're quite picky, they like water temperatures from 17 to 20 degrees and they only swim in the cooler water. But the reason they're going up the coast is to spawn, but they can't do it without the cold water. Yeah. So as they move and uh, come together and move up the coastline, all the predators follow them. So the long beat common dolphins, dusky sharks, copper sharks and the cape gannets all follow them and feed along the way. And those predators life cycles are timed with the movement of the fish up the coast. You come up to these bait balls and they're just raining with gannets plummeting out of the sky. You hear squawking and you can smell the feathers in the air. You look down and there's sharks just coming through the fish. Fish leaping out of the water, trying to get away from the sharks. It's one of those things that really sort of defines you as a person because here you are in the middle of this natural event and the animals don't really care about you. In terms of biomass, the sardine run is considered to rival East Africa's great wildebeest migration. The sardine run has always been a vital source of annual bait supplies for local fishermen. But in recent years, it's become increasingly important to tourism along South Africa's eastern coastline. The migration attracts people from all over the world and adds to the already frenzy-filled atmosphere that locals call sardine fever. <laughs> 